What's up guys? We are still talking about what is going on. What is trending in Nigerian politics? Uh, greetings to you wherever you are. It's a beautiful Thursday morning, the 7th September 2023. Okay guys, um, uh, I don't want to go too far. We already know about the uh, verdict of tribunal yesterday on the Peter Obian articles petition. So I am not going into that details okay um the update i have for you i think um it has been exposed everything has now um been understood i'm talking about the faction of lamidi apapa of course it is no longer news that um, apapa has been against abure um faction and then the, there was a story and news that uh lamidi apapa is asking script to walk in uh, for the opposition against Labour Party. All right, so according to uh, Lamidi Papa, imagine you are in Labour Party and have accepted, according to him, that Labour Party have accepted the judgment of the tribunal, the, the verdict of yesterday. Your party took another party to court. Rather than supporting your party, you are now saying that you accept Meanwhile, Abu Refaction says they are consulting their legal team to explore other window on uh, making sure that they get justice for Peter Obi. So according to Lamidi Apapa Faction, they say Peter Obi and Abure, their petition was just a legal means to defraud Labour Party of $15 million and $12 billion naira. Now, sometimes I keep telling people you need to, you know, be logical in your sense of reasoning. How did uh, Lamidi Papa knows the exact figure that uh, Abure and Apitabi is trying to defraud the Labour Party of uh, 12 billion naira and 15 million dollars? How did he get the figure? Was the money paid or he had access to Apitabi or Abure account? Was the money paid to, I really do not understand, propaganda everywhere. So the National Publicity Secretary of the Affaction, I'm talking about Abayomi, um, Arabambi, okay, while reacting to the verdict on behalf of the party said, it is a shame that the legal team of uh, Peter Obi failed to advise him properly before going to the tribunal. While saying that the party accept the verdict without any bias, Arabambi said that the whole process is a waste of time. Imagine saying it is a waste of time. Okay, according to him, um, in his word, he said, Peter Obi has just gone on a wild goose chase. Imagine the candidate that failed to fund the party in order to engage the number of required polling agents. Also, the filing of the witnesses are outside the stipulated time has shown that the legal team is a failure. Some of us has been saying that Peter Obi decided to go to the tribunal to justify all the money he collected during the campaign. All that money was corruptedly siphoned. It's unfortunate that Obi failed to convince the tribunal. Those polling units where he was rigged out. The tribunal also said that he made generic allegations of irregularities against the respondent without specifying the polling unit. The petition alleged irregularities and will use spreadsheet, inspection report, and forensic analysis as evidence in the trial. The document promised by the petitioner will not attach to the petition and serve on the respondent. That was what he said. Okay, we already know that the justice ruled that the PW and Labour Party did not adequately detail the allegations of corrupt practices, vote suppression, fictitious results and other irregularities in their petition. But that is, by the way, I quickly want to update you. We already know about the uh, the petition of Peter B, where the appeal court, you know, dismisses that really shock other learned colleague. Yes, the petition they dismiss the evidence shock other learned colleagues, other lawyers. 
and they have advised Peter Obi to seek redress in the Supreme Court. Because I, I, I told you in my previous video, they said the 25% uh, vote in Abuja is not a must, it's not necessary, it is not needed for somebody to be declared a president. Imagine. Their reason was that um, Abuja do not receive the same privilege like states. That the FCT is not receiving the same privilege as states, normal states, you understand. And the question is, if the people of FCT now sue and need their own state, I hope there will not be any problem. I hope there will not be any... I don't know if you guys understand. I hope there will not be any other battle in court. If you come out to say FCT do not receive privileges like state, now you've opened, you've, you've opened their eyes and tomorrow day when they say we need our own state so that we also should be counted, <clears throat> receive privileges as other states while I will come. If they say they need their own governor, they need their own local government chairman. Of course, different local government are there in FCT. They need their own local government chairman. They need their own councillors so that they will also be counted among states. I hope say while I know will come. Because you are the same people that said FCT is not, it is not, 25% is not needed or necessary in FCT before somebody can be declared winner. In presidential election because FCT is not receiving the same privileges as state. And now, um, whether Rambibi and uh, this man here are now coming out to say they have accepted the court verdict. It did for me in all what that has been going on in Labour Party between the Lamidia Papa and Abure. All was just to act script. Yes, imagine uh, Lamidia Papa coming out to say this to a party you claim you are the national chairman. Why not even carry a um, Labour Party and match with APC? Make everybody race at once. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think because um, it is so pathetic that uh, a party who took another party to court after the court verdict to say, yeah, you have accepted it. Is that how it has been done? I really do not understand. So that means everything that has been going on, everything that has been happening, uh, going to court, receiving this other court judgment, going to high court, going to appeal, you know, even coming out to be given fake, fake uh, court judgment just to justify your own uh, personal interest. Telling Nigerians, telling Labour Party, how do you expect Labour Party to regard you that you've accepted the court verdict? That Peter will be an abure, you know, use legal means to justify or to siphon fifteen million dollars and twelve billion naira. I mean, were you the person that paid the money? How how did you know about the amount? And there's some people will believe all this. All right, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.